Okay, I am continuing my reading in the book of Genesis. Uh, again, this is, I am reading through the entire standard works of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This will consist of the Bible, the Book of Mormon, the Doctrine and Covenants, and the Pearl of Great Price. I am doing this in chronological order of events, not in order of publication or in order of volume. So I will be jumping around just a little bit. I am currently reading in Genesis. This video will be Genesis chapter 25. As part of reading the Bible, I am including those portions known as the Joseph Smith translation, which is an inspired correction or translation of the Bible done by Joseph Smith to restore those portions that were lost over the years. Let us get into this, verse, chapter 25. Abraham marries, has seed, dies, and is buried in the cave of Machpelah. His generation through Ishmael set forth. Rebekah conceives, and Jacob and Esau struggle in her womb. The Lord reveals their destiny to Rebekah. Esau sells his birthright for a mess of pottage. So there's a lot going on here. It's not too long of a chapter, though, so let us see how far we can get. Then again, Abraham took a wife, and her name was Keturah. And she bare him Zimran, and Jokshan, and Medan, and Midian, and Ishbak, and Shua. And Jokshan begat Sheba and Dedan, and the sons of Dedan were Asherim and Lutashim and Luamim, and the sons of Midian, Ephah and Epher and Hanuk and Abida and Eldea. All these were the children of Keturah. So she bare him six more sons. We so had eight sons total. Verse 5. And Abraham gave all that he had unto Isaac, but unto the sons of the concubines which Abraham had, Abraham gave gifts and sent them away for Isaac his son, while he yet lived eastward unto the east country. And these are the days of the years of Abraham's life, which he lived, an hundred, threescore, and fifteen years. Then Abraham gave up the ghost and died in a good old age, an old man and full of years, and was, and was gathered to his people. And his sons Isaac and Ishmael buried him in the cave of Machpelah in the field of Ephron, the son of Zohar the Hittite, which is before Mamre, the field which Abraham purchased of the sons of Heth. There was Abraham buried and Sarah his wife. Just a few quick notes here. Isaac got the bulk of the inheritance because he had the birthright. But all of the sons of the concubines, that includes, it says concubines, plural, so we're including Ishmael in this, they all got their portion, their, it says their gifts. So we all got their portions, but Abraham sent them away, sent them away. So this land is for Isaac. You guys got to go over here to these lands. And so they went, and you'll know Midian, and uh, I believe Midian and Medan, uh, that they became fairly big later on. I know the Midianites, because, well, like Moses' father-in-law Jethro, he was the sheik of Midian. So again, all these people became great nations. Every single one of Abraham's sons, all eight of them, became great nations. Now, why is it that only Isaac and Ishmael were there to bury Abraham? Well, I don't know. Now, of course, Isaac... Um, Isaac was about 37 when Sarah died. He was about 40 when he married Rebekah, which means that Abraham was 140 when Isaac, when Isaac and uh, Rebekah were married. So he lived another, 37, another 35 years because there's 100, 3 score, and 15. A score being 20, 3 score being 60, plus 15 is 75. So he lived 175 years. So he lived 35 years after Rebekah and Isaac were married. So how old his other sons were, we don't know. They were at least 40 years younger than Isaac, though. So here we go. Why they weren't there, we don't know, but he, he was buried with Sarah. Verse 11, And it came to pass after the death of Abraham that God blessed his son Isaac, and Isaac dwelt by the well of Lahairoi, Laha Laha you know, however you pronounce that. Anyways, now these are the generations of Ishmael, Abraham's son, whom Hagar the Egyptian Sarah's handmaid bare unto Abraham. And these are the names of the sons of Ishmael by their names, according to their generations. The firstborn of Ishmael, Nebajoth, and Kedar, and Abdi, and Abd, Adbeel, and Mibsam, and Mishma, and Duma, and Masa, and Hadar, and Tima, and Jeter. 
Nafish and Kedema. These are the sons of Ishmael, and these are their, are their names by their towns and by their castles. Twelve princes according to their nations. And these are the years of the life of Ishmael, an hundred and thirty and seven years. And he gave up the ghost and died and was gathered unto his people. And they dwelt from Havilah unto Shur, that is before Egypt, as thou goest toward Assyria. And he died in the presence of all his brethren. So Ishmael lived in the south. Ishmael lived in the south, and he had 12 sons, and they built up a people there. He lived 137 years. Now, Abraham was 86 when he was born, so that would be he was, 80, he was, he was 89 when Abraham died. He lived 137 years, so 41 years after Abraham died, he died. Verse 19, and these are the generations of Isaac, Abraham's son. Abraham begat Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he took Rebekah to wife, the daughter of Bethuel, the Syrian of Padan Aram, the sister of Laban, the Syrian. Okay, so yes, Isaac was 40 years old when they were married. And Isaac entreated the Lord for his wife because she, bar she was barren. And the Lord was entreated of him, and Rebekah his wife conceived. And the children struggled together within her, and she said, If it be so, why am I thus? And she went to inquire of the Lord. And the Lord said unto her, Two nations are in thy womb, and two, ma two manner of people shall be separated from thy bowels. And the one people shall be stronger than the other, and the elder shall serve the younger. And when her days to be delivered were fulfilled, behold, there were twins in her womb, and the first came out red all over like a hairy garment, and they called his name Esau which means, I believe, red, but uh, we'll see. No, that's Edom means red. I can't remember. And after that came his brother out, and his hand took hold on Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. And Isaac was threescore years old when she bare them. And the boys grew, and Esau was, was a cunning hunter, a man of the field, and Jacob was a plain man dwelling in tents. Okay, so we know that Isaac was, tw was 60, when they were born, he was 40 when he married Rebecca. Therefore, Rebecca had to wait 20 years before she had children. And I think there's some more. You know, Sarah was 100, was 90 before she had children. Rebecca was 20 years after she was born, after she married, before she had children. So, Esau takes after Ishmael, becoming a hunter in the wilderness, while Jacob stays in the tents and takes after his father. Now, verse 28, And Isaac loved Esau, because he did eat of his venison, but Rebekah loved Jacob. And Jacob sought pottage, and Esau came from the field, and he was faint. And Esau said to Jacob, Feed me, I pray thee, with that same red pottage, for I am faint. Therefore was his name called Edom, which means red, and Jacob said, Sell me this day thy birthright. And Esau said, Behold, I am at the point to die, and what profit shall this birthright do to me? And Jacob said, Swear to me this day. And he sware unto him, and he sold his birthright unto Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau bread and pottage of lentils, and he did eat and drink and rose up and went his way. Thus Esau despised his birthright. Now that is an important thing, that Esau was willing to give up the birthright for a meal. He sold it for dinner. Esau wasn't dying. He came out of the field. He was faint. He hadn't had too much success hunting, and he was, you know, he was feeling a little tired. He was feeling weak. And, you know, he says he's on the point of dying, but I highly doubt he was about to die. And he was willing to give up the greatest blessings God could give in this life for some food. Now, even if he was close to the point of death, this shows that he did not have the faith in God. He did not believe that, you know, he's a, I'm going to die, what good is the birthright if I die? 
He was saying, I don't believe, I, I need to live. I'm not going to trust God to keep me alive so that I can enjoy the birthright. I'm going to get rid of I'm going to preserve it. I'm going to preserve myself rather than letting God preserve me. And in that way, he despised his birthright.